Hi, I'm Andrea from Team Witch Doctor on the TV show BattleBots. I'm proud to be one of five female team captains competing for the World Championship title. Since the show puts most of its focus on the team captains, you may not know that there are actually women on about 50% of the 67 teams competing this season. 14-year-old Hannah Rucker leads an all-female team with her robot Marvin, inspired by Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I met some absolutely incredible girls and women through BattleBots, so I wanted to put this video together to give you a chance to meet them too. I hope they inspire you as much as they've inspired me. Take a look. Hi, my name is Jen Herkenroder and I'm with Team Scorpios. I'm Leanne Cushing, captain of Team Valkyrie. I'm Diana Tarlson. I am the weapons operator for the Scorpios team. I am also a gold medalist from the World Tournament Robo Games. I'm Hannah Rocker. I'm on Team 42 and I'm the driver of Marvin. My name is Julia and I'm with Team 42 with the robot Marvin. Hey there, I'm Sarah Malian, I'm from the United Kingdom, and I'm the captain of Team Punchin, which built Nelly the Ellibot. Hi, I'm Bunny. I was with Team Bots FC with the robot Shatter. Hi, I'm Mary Comenti from Team Bots FC, best known for Shatter from the 2019 season of BattleBots. Hi, it's Julie Pitts here from Team Death Roll in Australia. My name is Samantha Thero, and my robot is Warhawk. My name is Sarah Asford, and I'm from Team Monsoon. Hey everyone, my name is Lydia Yeckley and I was on Season 2 of BattleBots with my team, Blinds and Robotics, and my robot Ambush. Hey, this is Lisa Winter and I'm a judge on the current season of BattleBots. In the past, I've had robots such as Megatento, Plan X, and Tentamushi. My day job is Prototype Engineer and I build experimental aerial vehicles. I am a TIG welder with a company called Mag Aerospace. During the day, I'm a full-time student at Castellia High School. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I work at a startup that is creating camera systems for tower cranes. That's basically like a backup camera for construction sites. I am a research student at the European Bioenergy Research Institute at Aston University in Birmingham. My research project is focused on chemicals that one day we might use to make packaging, clothing, it's basically about trying to be more green and not use fossil fuels. I'm a mechanical engineer with a focus in robots and consumer products. I am a co-founder for Bot Bash Party Service where we build robots for STEM education. I'm currently a mechanical engineer at Logic Supply, which is soon to be on Logic. On a day-to-day -day basis, I help create the next generation of industrial and rugged computers. My day job is that I'm a project manager for a luxury door hardware company. I used to be a bus driver, but now I work in social media management, and I'm also one of the producers and also the pit reporter for the Beetleweight online robot fighting series, BuggleBots. I work in the film and TV industry, do special effects, stop motion animations, and I'm a visual artist. I work as an embedded software developer, working on devices like these for our company Alert Labs. Uh, these are internet connected devices that help protect people's homes from a flood, and we have other devices that help with other unfortunate, unexpected events. I've been a fan of robot fighting since my childhood when the classic series of Robot Wars was on British TV, but I never imagined that one day I would actually be building my own robots myself. I started when I was around five or six years old with my dad. He thought one day, well, let's go see a match. And I really enjoyed it, so I said, okay, we're building a robot by the end of this year. And I kept pestering him until finally he gave in and we built my first robot, Black Widow. I started building robots when I was a kid. My father is an electrician, so we always had useful junk sitting around the house. Things like wires and batteries and small motors. And I've always been a fan of like racing RC cars and little motorsports. So for me, it was like really easy to picture myself being a robot builder. Well, my mother's a mechanical engineer and my father is a physicist, so I had a very STEM-focused upbringing um, and that involved building robots and electronic games and, and programs from a really young age. Uh, but robots I really got involved with when I got into high school and we had a first robotics team. I first got started with robotics when I was 10 years old and my dad introduced me to the first robotics competition. Uh, I was immediately hooked and I proceeded to pour my heart and soul into the competition and any other competition beyond that. I started building robots in 1996 because I saw my dad compete in Robot Wars and I was just like, that looks like way too much fun, I want to build my own robot. Uh, so I drew up some plans and built one. 
I was actually on the team Alien, but that was about 19 years prior to now. At the time I was only seven years old and it was in the original run of Robot Wars. Uh, and then when BattleBots got relaunched for its new uh, season, um, I watched season one on television, was really enthused by all the robots and thought, you know what, I could probably build one of these myself. So a couple folks from work and I, we put together a team and then we applied and got into season two. In 2002, my mother and I used to watch the Comedy Central show BattleBots. When it got cancelled, her and I decided that we wanted to build one of our own. I started building robots when I was 14. I was lucky enough to hear about my first robotics club in high school. And uh, six weeks after doodling a solution to an idea, part of it was put into our design and I got to see it work and the rest is history. I walked by the robotics club. They were having their meeting. I walked in. I joined immediately. We, I built my first robot. It exploded in the arena before I even left the go box, and it was wonderful. The rest is history. One day in a second hand shop, we found the ultimate real robot magazine, and I've been building robots ever since. Half the fun of building robots is is building them physically, getting to get your hands on, you know, using machinery and tools to cut metal. It's a lot of fun doing the design process, making something totally unique and artsy. I love doing that. And then half the fun really is driving and competing. It's just, there's so much adrenaline. It's three minutes of like the most intense fun sport ever. The reason why I love it so much is that they all have the same basic components. You have a battery, a motor, a way to control it. And after that, you can build anything that you want. I love the challenge of building robots. I love the learning. You never stop learning. And I love driving the robots. I love the three minute battle. There's nothing really that compares. I also enjoy spending time with my family because it's something that we do um, together. My mom's involved, my dad's involved, we're all involved. And it's a big time of year for us. So it's always really fun. I love getting to see my creations come to life. Having an idea in your head and then seeing it come together, take its first roll down the hallways, getting to see it do that for the first time is the most amazing feeling in the world. I love it. It's great to have something in my life which allows me to be creative, teaches me new skills, and is a whole lot of fun at the same time. It's been a real big step up the last two years, and between Tom and Rory and Tim, they've learned me how to weld, angle grind, solder, uh, just a lot of different new skills. It's always also a really fun adventure as you're building a new project because you touch on things from like programming to electronics to design or 3D printing, something new or machining. And I think that as long as you want to keep learning, there's always something new to challenge yourself. It's also really cool to see things get destroyed every once in a while. And although we're there to smash each other's stuff, which is really fun, we're all outside of the arena, really great friends, and the community's a really special place. Whether it's FIRST Robotics and all the high school uh, students or elementary school students that are enthusiastic about building something, or whether it's BattleBots, where we all come together once a year and duke it out in the, in the arena. It's, it's nice to be part of a team. You go along to like the live events over here. Uh, you get to see all your friends. Yeah, you're never gonna be short of a help or a hand. I can have fun and get to meet new people and I made some really good friends through that. The community is really just like a big family and I've made some amazing friends and socialized with many fascinating people since I've joined. I love building robots because the people that do this are the most talented, intelligent and brilliant people I've ever met. I've learned a lot from the people, not just about robots but other things in life too. Um, and yeah, it plays a big part in my life. Being a part of this big community is really awesome. I mean, how many sports can you think of where your fellow competitors, even your next opponent, will lend you the part that you need for your bot to ensure that you get into the arena? I mean, it's a really, really incredibly supportive community and it's a credit to the sport. If you want to build a robot, just go for it. It's really, it's about the passion and it's not about having the best tools, the best degrees and all that stuff. You don't, you really, you don't need any of it. I started when I was 10 years old with just hand powered tools. 
get yourself some junk, maybe broken RC cars or pieces of appliances, and safely, if you can, with some parental supervision if you need it, uh, just experiment. As a prototyper, most of the time, the first thing that I make will break. You just have to get it out of the way. So make it, make it fast, break it, and then make the next one better and keep pursuing bigger and better ideas. Don't worry about failing your first time or your first 50 times. Uh, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Uh, I had a lot of people do that to me uh, growing up and I just knew the more I kept learning and doing it, the more I liked it and so I knew that they were just wrong. Here at Bots FC we have one motto, go do, which means if you're interested in something, go do it. And it doesn't matter if you're a mathematician or an engineer or a scientist, if you have an interest and passion in robotics, get started. You don't have to be an adult to do this or to like this. Your age doesn't matter. Just pick up a kid at the store and start building. Eventually you'll be building battle bots. I suggest going for a smaller weight class. We've got TTRE and Drizzle here. TTRE is a 150 gram robot and this is Drizzle. It's actually Drizzle too. Spoilers. Uh, is a one and a half kilogram beetle weight. Uh, and you can build robots like these with a lot smaller tools, it's a lot smaller scale. The first robot I built was this beetle weight called Pans and Roses. Uh, as you can see, she's nothing fancy, she's just a very strong and sturdy wedge bot which has broken some spinner hearts. Uh, but she's been great for getting me driving experience and just generally getting competition experience. Competing on BattleBots for the first time would have been a whole lot tougher if I didn't have previous experience in smaller weight classes. Uh, it's really easy to get overwhelmed by all these different fancy robots out there, but if you start small and you work on something, you'll eventually get the skills to build bigger and, and more complicated robots. Don't be afraid. This community is amazing. There are tons of people out there who are more than willing to offer advice and help you. Four years ago, I once asked a group chat full of seasoned veterans of the sport what a LiPo was, and you know what they did? They told me it was a lithium polymer battery. So, never be afraid to ask. Uh, you can ask questions on different social media groups. If, if you're too young to have social media, you can just ask a parent, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Do not hesitate to ask for help. We're always there to help because this is how we got started asking questions. So, get, have fun, be safe, and go do. If you want to build a robot, you just got to go and build it. And don't ever let anyone tell you you can't. The important thing when you're getting started is to just have fun with it. It's not a job. It's not something <laughs> that you're being forced to do. It should be something that you want to do. I really hope that there's a whole bunch of girls out there watching this video and that are going to feel inspired. I hope you can see that we all love doing this and that there's a place for everyone here.